If you're gonna come in, you have to stay in. You have to stay in here. Okay? I am so shiny today. Hi! Hi! Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be diving into my November base box from BoxyCharm. And I'm gonna be putting most of the products on my face. So if you're interested in seeing that, definitely keep on watching. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're old to my channel and have been here for a while, I'm really sorry about not posting in a while. Um, I try to post once a week. That was my plan when I started my channel back in August. But the months of November and the end of October were super, super busy. So I haven't been posting as much. I'm going to try and get back on track, but December is a really busy month as well because what I try to do is I film a video or two during the weekend and then I'll edit it throughout the week so I can post it the following Friday or Saturday but the past like month I've been doing something every single weekend so that's why there's been kind of a delay in posting but anyways today you're gonna get some boxy charm reviews so hopefully you guys are excited to see that this is my November one so, if you haven't seen any of my other ones, it looks, there's stuff in here if you didn't hear that. This is what it looks like. It actually comes just like this, like it doesn't come in a box and then you open the box and here it is. It actually ships just like this. For $25, you get five to six full-size products per their website, but I've only ever gotten five. But they are full-size, which is awesome because it's only 25 bucks. And the value of what's in here always exceeds that. So they always send you a little card um, with the theme. So this month's theme is Harvest. And then on the back they tell you all the products you got along with their actual prices. So my subscription when I signed up for BoxyCharm, I did the quiz and answered that I'd like to get mostly beauty products and some skincare products. So I normally do get one skincare product. And if you want to see how all the beauty quiz and stuff works, definitely go check it out. I'll put it up here and I go through how the beauty quiz works and all that. Also, unfortunately, this will be my last BoxyCharm review for a little while. I'm actually canceling my subscription and it's not because I don't love the products that I get or anything like that. I really, really enjoy my BoxyCharm subscription, but I am trying to save money right now. So... If you like seeing these videos, let me know and I'll look into maybe extending it. But for right now, this November one will be the last one. So the first product I want to talk about is the Earth Harbor Naturals. And this is the Anti-Pollution Youth Ampoule? Ampul I'm definitely saying that wrong. I don't know what that word is. But it says on here that it's named after the powerful Greek deity of the sun. Helios Anti-Pollution Youth Ampoule is an almighty ambrosia brimming with ultra-reparative plant stem cells and a fountain of youth preserving red algae. Uh, like what? Do they think we are scholars here? <laughs> Anyways, it says it can restore antioxidants, balance skin pH, and smooth fine lines and wrinkles. I guess it's always good to anti-age, but... I don't normally buy anti-aging products. It comes in a really cool little bottle. I mean, this is glass. It looks really cool. It normally retails for $48, so, and this is the full size. It's got one fluid ounce. And I wonder if it's actually red or if it's just the bottle. I'm not gonna put it on my face because I do have makeup on, but it comes with a little dropper and yeah, I think it's just the bottle that's got this red tint to it. So I do want to fill a little bit of it. Oh, it's very oily. So it definitely I could see how it helps with fine lines and wrinkles. It just smells like like skincare. There's no like fragrance. It just has that like fresh skincare smell, you know, which I like. But yeah, I'll try it out. Okay, so the next product I'm actually gonna be using. This is the Alamar Cosmetics Pero Primero Primer, which says it's a long wear sticky pigment base. It says this is a water-based primer designed to glue eyeshadow in place and to maximize color and pearl dimension. 
It's water and wear resistant and enriched with shea butter to provide skin conditioning and moisturizing benefits. And then it says it also works as a glitter glue. It says mix with your favorite concealer to customize the primer shade. Interesting. So this actually only retails for $15, so it's actually a really good price on its own. I have gotten Olimar Cosmetics in BoxyCharm before. I got the Spanglish eyeshadow palette, which was awesome, so I'm excited to try this. This is also the second time I've gotten an eyeshadow primer in my BoxyCharm, and I've only gotten one, two, three, four, four BoxyCharms. So okay, this is what it looks like. Oh yeah, this is a lot different than the primers I normally use. The primer, oh it's very sticky, wow. So the primers I normally use go on kind of clear. I can like barely even spread this around. You can definitely see how it works as a glue. Can you see that? Now, I obviously don't know how it works yet, but first impressions is not my thing. I bet a lot of people really enjoy something like that and I could see how it'd be great for like a glitter but for me it's just not like can you see this is what it anyways it left a lot of residue on my fingers okay I'm gonna let the primer kind of settle and we're gonna go into our next product so the next product is this Cali glow by beauty creations this is a um, highlighting palette I believe it says, it's a summer glow all year long. The Cali Glow Highlight Palette is made up of three shades to suit all skin tones. Malibu has a subtle champagne color, Santa Monica gives you the golden hour look all day long, and Manhattan Beach is for the ultimate bronze look. And this only retails for $14.99, so once again, another decently priced product. So, it does have a little mirror in there. Um, and it has a protective covering. So these are the three shades, Malibu, Santa Monica, and Manhattan Beach. What does it say about Santa Monica? Because that one is very orangey. So it gives you the golden hour look, so that makes sense. I'm going to swatch them all on my hand for you guys and then go from there on which ones we'll use. So the first one I'm going to swatch is this um, Malibu shade. Very pretty, very blinding, and I feel like that's probably going to be the one. Next I'm going to do the Santa Monica shade, which is that golden hour one. I mean, look how orange it looks on my finger. Okay, I kind of mixed those good into, but definitely once you like kind of blend it out, it is not as orange as I was thinking it would be, so that's good. And this Manhattan Beach, which is definitely in the pan, looks to be too dark of a shade for me, for highlighting anyways. Oh yeah. But it looks like a gorgeous, um, what's this one here? Looks like a gorgeous eyeshadow color. Okay, so for my highlight, I'm going to take this Malibu shade, this one. We're going to put that on my cheeks. Oh yeah, that's really nice. It gives you kind of that like more um, metallic like glistening wet look. Which I'm starting to really like go towards those because I used to be more of a glitter highlight person, but I kind of like this look. And I don't even need to put a highlight up here, like, my forehead is so shiny. Okay, so the next product was very interesting when I first opened the box because it showed up in a box like this, and it has this on the back, like, showing um, all the shade names and everything, and I'm guessing Natasha Denona's stuff just shows up in packaging like that, which is just interesting. This is the Natasha Denona Peak Palette. It is a 5 p.m. palette featuring Natasha's essential everyday warm toned eye, pigment, eye pigments that she mixes and matches from her favorite palettes, all reorganized and wrapped into one, composed of both creamy matte and metallic formulas from the cult classic Biba Safari and Sunrise eyeshadow palettes. You'll find yourself reaching for this all season long. And this is actually $48, so 
pretty pricey for a five pan palette. I mean, this you can tell is like that really nice kind of plastic, but like looking at it just like this, I wouldn't realize it was that expensive. Like I have palettes that have probably 20 something shades that are this expensive, so. One nice thing that also came in this box was a 25% off Natasha Denona coupon that you can use on her website, so that's valid till December 25th. Okay, so all these shades are very um, autumn-y shades, which I tend to go towards more browns. I never use like oranges like this, but we're going to try them out today. Okay, I'm going to use this um, light shade here first and kind of put that as a base. I believe this shade is called Aya, A-Y-A. Okay, that primer is like literally pulling at my brush. It is just not for me. I don't personally feel like I got a lot of color payoff from that, but we'll just keep going. So next I'm gonna use this pinkish orange shade, which is, I hope I'm reading these in the right direction. It's either Amhara or Jasper. I think it's Amhara because one of the shades is called Shine and I feel like that's this one. So the one next to it is called Amhara. I apologize if I'm just seem like a total idiot. It's actually a really pretty shade, but this primer, like I can't even blend everything together. Okay, this shade is really, really pretty. I really like it. I just wish it was going on better, but I'll definitely be using this palette again without this primer. Okay, next I'm going to go in with this darker orange shade, which I think is the Jasper shade, and go in the corners. Oh, that is pigmented. <laughs> well, I used a little too much for that. So I sometimes do this when I'm doing these videos. I will use a brush to blend, like, and I'll forget to clean it off. And so, if you can see, that's what's happening in that little area there. So, it's not doing this eyeshadow look any justice. But, I just wanted to explain why there's a big dark patch of, like, glitter right there. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to go in with the lid shade, which I'm going to use the only shimmer shade, which is here. I think it's called Shine. And I'm actually just going to try using my finger. Is that the shade looks like? That shade is gorgeous. I know it's all over my lashes with that primer too. What are you gonna do? I'm also gonna put that shade in my inner corner. Okay, for the under eyes, I'm just going to take the really gorgeous, um, like, peachy shade there and go under the eyes with that. Okay, I was very skeptical about this palette because just for the price and it showed up in the box, which I don't know why I felt like that was so weird, but that was so weird to me. But this is amazing. I mean, I'm definitely going to be using this a lot. I didn't think I would like this like color story, but I'm really enjoying it. Okay, now for the final product. Um, this is the the Jouer, I think that's how you say it, Jouer Cosmetics Lip Enhancer, the Essential Lip Enhancer. 
It says it's infused with good for you clean ingredients. This lip enhancer offers a smooth, silky formula that will protect your lips from environmentally damaging elements while providing lasting hydration. And this retails for $17. So it comes in a little tube like this. It doesn't really have a scent. It kind of comes out just like a little lip gloss. So this is what it looks like on. It just looks like a clear gloss. No shimmer or anything in it. It definitely feels more like a gloss than a lip balm or anything like that. I mean, it just says on the bottle conditioning lip treatment, so you could probably wear this anytime. If you feel like wearing a gloss over your lipstick, you could put this on with that too. Okay, so those are all the products, and this is the final look using them. The actual retail value of my November base box came out to $143, with that Natasha Denona palette being $48, as well as that serum type ampoule. I don't know. Or if I'm even saying that right, but that was also at 48. The other three items were actually pretty cheap, being at 15 and 17. So going through them one last time, my favorite thing was definitely, definitely this Natasha Denona palette. I am for sure gonna go online and look to see what else she has because this was gorgeous, unexpectedly. I also really like the highlighter. I don't normally go for highlight palettes because it almost always will have a shade that doesn't work for you, but I think it'll work out as a good eyeshadow shade. The problem is I always forget uh, that it's there, you know, like, oh, this will be a great eyeshadow color, but when I'm doing my eyeshadow, I never remember that, hey, I think I have a highlight palette that would work well for this, you know? So I don't normally go for those, but I really did like it. The primer. This Alamar Cosmetics primer, no, not for me. I feel like it grabbed hold of my brush, it grabbed hold of my eyeshadow in a way I did not like. It applied kind of patchy and sticky and was all over my fingers. Maybe I'm using it wrong, I don't know, but it was just not for me. I really, really like their Spanglish palette, so not anything like against the brand or anything, but I just did not like that primer. Um, the Jouer Lip Enhancer. I mean, it's fine. I always love a good clear gloss. Did I need another one? No, but you know, it worked well. And then once again, I did not use the Earth Harbor um, skincare item <laughs> that came, but I'll definitely be trying it out. It does say it's mainly for like anti-aging, so I don't know if I'll see any like benefits from it, but I'll definitely try it out. I love the little bottle that it came in though. So cute. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and definitely stay tuned for my next one. Um, I'm going to be doing a lash lift type thing so I'm really really excited for that so stay tuned for that. Also I want to congratulate Ashley on winning the Instagram giveaway that I had for the two items in a BoxyCharm that I already had. So she won that giveaway. Congratulations. I do seldom do giveaways on both my channel and my Instagram so definitely keep an eye out for those. My social media stuff is down below so go check those out. If you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed please consider subscribing. I do a lot of beauty stuff like this and I do some stuff with my hair as well and if you don't know any of my previous videos I always kind of explain at the beginning that I am an amateur at all of this stuff, so I think it's a good take to see on what someone like me who doesn't have a lot of experience can do with makeup versus watching some of these people that are either professionals or have been doing it for a very long time and they make their stuff look amazing and you're like, why can't I get it like that? Well, I might get lucky though. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.